I opened up a fighting type Pokemon gym inside a boxing gym. Our competitors today will have to complete three grueling gym challenges, and only the best among them will be able to challenge the gym leader for a chance to win a gym badge and a custom wrestling belt. Let's meet our competitors. My name is Aaron Cybertron Zhang. I am a competitive Pokemon player, content creator, and caster. I'm Aaron Trailer. I've been playing competitive Pokemon for 12 years. Hey, my name is Alan. I like to drink tea and go on runs. I have been playing competitive Pokemon since 2008, and I think the key to winning competitive battles is hitting your moves. I think the secret to winning a Pokemon battle is loving your Pokemon and believing in them, and in turn, they're gonna love you and believe in you too. I'm not a competitive Pokemon player, but Wolf asked me to take part in this fighting gym today. I I think I'm gonna win today because I flew in from Brazil after seeing twice. I'm gonna channel their energy and I'm gonna beat my fellow competitors here. I think I'm gonna win today because I've been training hard. Ever since Wolf told me about this gym, I've been practicing four hours a day, every day, Pokemon battles, strength training, you name it. Also, I beat Aaron Zang at regionals last week. So I don't really know competitive Pokemon all that well, but I've played so many board games with Wolf that I'm sure I could outthink any puzzle that he comes up with. All right, gamers, well, before you can challenge our gym leader, we have to make sure that you are fed. As you know, working out and sweating and doing all this hard work, we gotta make sure you got the nutrients. So for this challenge, it's pretty simple. It's probably something you've done before. It's eating sushi. Uh, unfortunately, there is a bit of a twist for you all, which is that you have to wear these nice boxing gloves while you eat them, and you have to use the chopsticks as well. So go ahead and start putting those gloves on and uh, let's get into the challenge here. Oh, there we go. Pull these down. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Are the thumbs in the right place? Yes, they are. Oh, no, they're right. All righty. So, you have four pieces of sushi in front of you. First to eat all four wins the challenge. There is soy sauce. I don't personally recommend going for it because I think this is going to be hard enough. But if you want it, if you're like, oh, man, this is going to be so much more delicious, it's worth the risk, you can go for it. So, you guys ready? Emotionally? <laughs> Emotionally? Well, no, physically. All right. Three, two, one, begin. Okay, we've got some different strategies. Aaron, you gotta have some distance. Oh my God, Alan with almost an early lead. However, he drops a piece here. Aaron already has a piece inside of his mouth. He's doing incredible here. Off to a huge lead, a second piece as well. Alan gets his first piece. Oh my goodness, Aaron's egg on his last piece. Oh my God, oh no, some of the Phillies falling out. He has to pick that up, that's gonna be hard. Aaron trailer now on his last piece. Alan, how you doing over here? Alan has two pieces left. He's struggling, Aaron eats. The filling, Aaron Zhang is that, no, it falls out of his mouth. Oh my God, Aaron Zhang wins. Oh man, that was, dude, oh my God, did you chew? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Aaron, how do you feel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> delicious. Yeah, did it taste good? Hunger I can tell, I can tell. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into our next challenge and get you guys out of these boxing gloves. I felt good about the chopstick challenge. It was definitely a little bit hard to get used to at first, but I feel like I got into a really good rhythm. I thought I was gonna choke on that third piece in particular, because the avocado fell out and I wasn't looking at the other competitors, so I started getting really nervous, but still ended up securing the W in that one. So that one felt good. Chopstick challenge, I went in, I was just trying to go fast, but then I went too fast in the beginning. Some of the avocado guts just fell out. It's kind of tough, but then afterwards, I just saw how Aaron stuffed it all in his face and didn't chew. I was like, that's just the better strategy. It's a daunting task, picking up sushi with chopsticks in boxing gloves. I really wanted to dunk the sushi in the soy sauce, but once I saw how fast Aaron Zhang was eating, I knew I just had to power through to the finish line and uh, he got there first. So shout outs to him. Before our competitors can challenge the gym leader, we need to make sure that they are fast and strong enough. So this challenge is a pinata. We've got one pinata for each of you and whoever breaks it the fastest will win the challenge. Also, you're gonna be blindfolded. All right, Aaron, how are you feeling for your, your next adventure? Confident. Confident? Maybe. <laughs> uh, when's the last time you swung on a pinata? Oh my God, an eighth grade birthday party for sure. That's awesome. All right, let's go over here. We're gonna get you over here, and now we're gonna get you nice and dizzy. So we're gonna spin you around 15 times. One, I can't even two, count that high. three, four, 13, 14, and... 15, there we go. All right, hang on just one second. Let me get out of your way. All right, Aaron, on, on the count of uh, three, you're gonna start swinging. Uh -huh. Three, two, one, go. Get that pinata. Oh, and he's using the off the rope strategy. A swing and a miss. Oh, careful, careful, okay. All righty. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get, get you. Out of the way. All right. Oh, he's made contact, but the, the ball is still standing. There he goes. Swings and oh, okay, hands down. Aaron just knocked off the pinata. 
the pinata is, yep, it went right down. Actually, I saw some stuff come out. Look, here's, we have some of this. <laughs> That's your candy. There is candy in there. Oh, <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> what a rush. <laughs> All right, Aaron, how are you feeling? I'm feeling nervous, Wolf. <laughs> I think Aaron set the bar high. Dude, it was a good, it was a good run. It was honestly. a great swing by him. It was a good, I mean, the, the pinata just almost like it collapsed. It couldn't even hold itself up. All right, we're gonna walk you over here. Oh. We're gonna get you nice and dizzy, okay? So let's start spinning one. <laughs> I feel like you get spun around a lot when you're a kid and then you reach adulthood and you're like, I'm you just, barf, you just, <laughs> already, dude, we still got so many more spins. <laughs> How many more? Okay, okay, that's good. All right, you're good to go. All right, ready? Three, two, uh oh, one, <laughs> go. Okay, uh, dude, you're in the ring. There you go. Dude, you gotta, you gotta find, oh, okay, he's got something. Oh, he's already made contact, oh! <laughs> Aaron swings, he's swinging, oh, and it's down, time! <laughs> you know, these pinatas are very sturdy. They, they don't seem to want to let out their candy. I do promise there is candy in here, but you wouldn't know it. Honestly, I came in with this big strategy, but as soon as he started spinning me, it was, it all just went poof. And I had no idea where I was. I. I thought I was closer to the back than I was, and next thing you know, that's it. Get good. <laughs> I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. That's gonna be hard to blindfold you. Right now, it looks like Aaron Trailer is in the lead. Do you think that you can beat his his time? I don't know, he's had some good swings. He did have some good swings. I think I just gotta feel the ring and I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, all right, let's get you over here and we're gonna spin you around, so get you nice and dizzy. Wee! God. <laughs> <laughs> You're just getting dizzy? Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. Right. Here, take a, take a step this way for me, and then we'll turn you about this way. All right, one more step back. Oh my Make God. Make it about fair. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, he's orienting himself, but he's in the middle of the ring. Oh, there we go. He's using using the boxing glove to get his handle on things. Finds the wall, finds the ring, is in the corner. Uh oh, okay, going this way. Oh, he's found the pinata. He's getting kind of close. He's touched the pinata, he's oriented himself. Oh, it is still on the swing end. Oh, we got a break. Let's go. Whoa. You got candy. Oh, candy. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Earned your prize. Earned it. A clean attempt going in, was aiming to smash it just from the side, but getting oriented on the stage was really tough. Feeling where my back was, hearing Wolf at one point, but I was completely blindfolded. Eventually I found it and just whacked it and it felt good. I could hear the candy fall on the floor, but it was just like a couple seconds off. So it's a shame, but you know, I gave it my best. I think I've probably only hit a pinata once or twice in my life. I didn't go first in that one, so I was actually trying to think of a good strategy after seeing Aaron Trailer go, but all of that just went out the window because as soon as Wolf just spun me even three times, I got super, super dizzy, super disorienting, and time just goes by so quickly when you're actually in that ring. And so in the end, I was happy to have gotten a decent time, but obviously it wasn't first place. You know, Wolf really spun me up there. He spun me up good. And I was still, I was stumbling, but like I could still like kind of maintain composure after a few seconds. And I think the key was the turn determining the edge of the ring and then trying to like triangulate the location of the Pokeball. So I think that's what helped me. Before we find out who's going to be the one to challenge our gym leader, we have one final challenge. Now we've tested your strength, we've tested your speed, uh, we've tested our, our challenger's ability to eat, which is very important. Now we need to test their luck. So we're gonna be playing a very famous game, you might have heard of it, called Rock, Paper, Scissors, but this is a Pokemon gym, so there's a twist. Our competitors are going to be playing Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors. You guys can go ahead and get started here. <laughs> You're going down, Aaron. Dude, I don't think so, man. I think I think I'm winning this one. <laughs> you want to tell me what your first move will be? I'll tell you mine. Yeah, it's gonna be the run button. No, I'm, gonna click, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click mock punch, Aaron. Okay, that's. Oh, great. we got some mind yeah, games going on punch. here. So this is Pokemon Rock Paper Scissors. The competitors have three moves, and each move beats one of the other moves. I'm gonna jump into I'm gonna click mock punch. Do you believe me? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> I do. Okay. And Aaron chooses mock punch. Then Aaron has to choose upper hand to beat it. But it could be a bluff. And he could be going for focus punch here. Let's see, Hitmonchan versus Hitmonchan. Okay, Aaron lied, he's going for focus punch. What is Aaron going for? It is gonna be <laughs> focus punch. In this case, it's a speed tie. Who moves first? It is Aaron Fang. <laughs> oh 
my god, huge damage! Huge, huge damage! Oh my goodness, now Aaron Trailer is down to 1 HP, and it all comes down to if he can correctly outpredict Aaron's egg multiple times. This is once! Upper hand comes out, just over half, almost half, of Hitmonchan's health, and if this happens again, then it'll come down to the final turn here. I'm thinking. He's thinking about it. Oh, they're both going for Focus Punch again! <laughs> it's a speed tie, there is a 50% chance for each of these players to win the battle. Who's gonna move first? Last time it was Aaron Zhang, this time it's... Aaron oh, Trailer! Yeah. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, Aaron Trailer defeats Aaron Zhang, congratulations. Good game, good game, good game. Good game, man. Alrighty. All right, go ahead, Aaron and Alan. Get started here as you select. Uh, Alan hasn't played a Pokemon game. Oh well, yeah, you have to hit, yep, exactly, enter, and then hit done at the bottom. Perfect, yeah. So Alan hasn't played a Pokemon game in quite a while, so uh, you would think that this would give Aaron a huge advantage. However, this is rock, paper, scissors, and so you really don't need to know that much about Pokemon, maybe anything about Pokemon to come out on top. But now we have Aaron Zhang against Alan. Once again, <laughs> Hitmonchan versus Hitmonchan. We'll have to see who comes out on top here. Uh, once again, the start of the battle, I feel like, is the most volatile. Focus Punch is clearly the most damaging move. So if you can land one, it's really big, but of course, there's such a big risk to going for it. Uh, so we'll have to see here. Alan launching the Focus Punch this time. Is it gonna connect? What did Aaron go for? <laughs> it's also Focus Punch. It comes down to a 50% chance as to who moves first. Who's it gonna be? Is it Alan or Aaron? It's a Alan! I can't even tell, it's so weird. Aaron survives, but this second turn can be crucial. Oh, Aaron Zeng calls it correctly. Upper hand stops the mock Punch, and mock Punch doesn't do any damage. Aaron only has a little health left, but what is Alan gonna go for here? Could be anything. Alan's going for the Focus Punch. What did Aaron go for? Aaron's head in his hand. He goes for the upper hand and it fails. Alan's Focus Punch is gonna come out, and that's gonna be the end. The oh my hand. goodness, let's go, Alan. Aaron uh. defeated. Alan Victor. Oh, it doesn't matter. You know, it's really, really fun. The match against Aaron Trailer was really close. I won that 50-50 initially, so I had a pretty big lead, but then I uh, ended up getting the two turns, basically. I got the first turn incorrectly, and then the second turn, it came down to another 50-50. So Aaron did an awesome job making him, uh, you know, coming back into a position to win. Who's gonna come out on top here? Once again, Hitmonchan versus Hitmonchan. It can go either way. Comes down to these players, their, their strategy, their ability to understand their opponent. Oh, it's Focus Punch from Aaron. What did Alan go for? If it's a mock punch, it will do nothing, but it's upper hand. That's not gonna do any damage. Aaron's Focus Punch comes out here. How much does it do? Doesn't KO, so Alan is still in this. We saw this actually last game. It comes down to though, Alan do? can get multiple turns correct in a row here. <laughs> <laughs> Quadruple focus punch? I can go for four in a row. <laughs> you don't know me. He would never. <laughs> oh, it's just the mock punch. And oh, and wow, Aaron Trailer wins again, defeats Alan. You might be the rock player, you might be the hit on I told rock. you I trained. <laughs> Understanding the priorities was kind of tough and seeing what they would do was hard. Uh, I didn't know if it was just you move once and then you get the health bar all the way down and actually won. So I felt really good. It was like, oh, okay. I can beat one of these competitive Pokemon players. Yeah, so this is actually my first time playing Hitmonchan Rock, Paper, Scissors. So I didn't really know what to expect sitting down. And it was equally scary sitting across from Aaron as to Alan because they could each pick either move. And so I uh, felt really lucky that uh, the strategy that I picked worked out. Okay, so we have concluded all three of our gym challenges and I am happy to announce that Aaron Trailer, you did the best. You were gonna be the one challenging the gym leader. What do you have to say and how do you feel? Well, first off, I just, uh, I wanna say a big thank you to all my uh, fans back home. Uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. And really, I think it was the bond between me and my Pokemon that ultimately helped propel me to victory. So I'm looking forward to fighting the gym leader. Absolutely, I mean, I think we definitely saw that during the sushi eating challenge. I think your, your bond with your Pokemon was really strong. But you know, we've done all these things today. We've done, we've done a bunch of different stuff. We've done all these different challenges. We showed off different skills. But the one thing we haven't done yet is meet our gym leader. So why don't we do that now? It's me. Welcome to Wolf Fight Club! Gentlemen, this is going to be a best of one match to determine the gym champion right here, right now. Please shake hands and let's begin. Everybody go crazy if you want Aaron to be cool. Ready? Woo! Ready? <laughs> Thanks, God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we can start, Aaron. We can start? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. My okay. preparations are complete. Sorry, I'm like learning what these Pokemon do. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good move. Yeah, I, I, want, I want you to click that move. You want me to click that move? All right. You got this, dude. 
Thanks. Yeah, you really got dab all over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay in it, stay in it. I want you to hit hard and I want you to hit fast. I promise I'll make it quick. <laughs> uh oh. A big turn uh -oh. on the Hitmon Lee big. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. There's another fake out in return. No damage happening, but a lot of flinches coming through. Should I just do this to BM? <laughs> As your coach, I can't recommend it. <laughs> oh. There seems to be a little bit of miscommunication oh, no. on Eric's trailer oh, side. Man. Two oh, man. Oh. My hair's struggling a bit. Oh, you know, no. Is this disaster? Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. I'll see if Paul uh -oh. makes it to the turn. The beginning of the end, perhaps? <laughs> all expected. All, all about, time. all about the... Nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And the dimensions have been twisted. <sighs> Alan, I don't know what to do. Uh, it's gonna do this. What's confused for a second. <laughs> I'm not I'm not I'm not tricking me this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh? I don't know. It's one second. Oh. Woo! Bye bye! Yeah, it's the first right, knock up here. Let's knock up. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh no, this is bad. Oh my god! That's what I thought was gonna happen last turn. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. No, no, no problem. No problem. You think? No what if he turns up here? Oh. Oh my. Ooh, okay. Alright. We'll throw him for content. <laughs> one more? One more? Uh oh. The rule will come in. I like it. I mentioned still twisted right here. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Come on. We're still in it. We're still in it. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. No. Let's go. I knock you. It's okay. It's okay. Breathe it off. Breathe it off. I think I lose. We we definitely needed that. I still have hit the top. Okay, we're good. noise, guys. Who you got winning this one? No. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Both people are saying uh oh here. Uh oh. What could this possibly mean? Uh oh. Where did the ground go? The ground is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Not will go down. Good contact. Good contact. <laughs> nice, nice. Big brave bird. Oh no, it trick was yeah. over. But I, I still haven't terrored, Aaron. I oh, still get to rationalize. Oh, <laughs> I saved it till the end. This could be the end right here. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Good game. Good game. And here is your gym badge. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, like, we... Congratulations to Aaron <laughs> And that concludes another real life Pokemon gym. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, congratulations again to Aaron for winning. Here is your championship belt. Very nice, looks great on you. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone who helped make this possible. Thanks everybody who came out uh, for, the, for the day. And yeah, hope to see more of you at the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>